Hi, stupid. I have so much to say. And I literally just like blacked out. <sighs> Internally right now, I'm like not thriving. Oh, I need a cup. Oh my God, the dishwasher was on. I'm not, I'm not thriving the most right now. I'm, I don't want to say hungover. I mean, I should be hungover. I had a wedding yesterday and it was a really fun wedding. Everyone got very drunk and I definitely should be more hungover than I am. But do you guys ever get the hungover where it's not like you're nauseous and dying? You're just kind of like missing brain cells. Yeah, I'm kind of in shambles. <laughs> We're kind of in shambles. You guys are on two hip empty cases of Truly that are stacked on top of each other. If you drink Truly, you're dirty. <laughs> Hey guys, um, we're doing so good today. Look, I can do this. Look. I don't know what I'm filming. Normally I have like a title and a thumbnail idea picked out for the videos before I start filming, but I'm kind of just going into this. Maybe it'll just be like a day of us hanging out. What is really like to hang out with me? I'm letting you guys in. I'm letting you guys in on my life. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Say hi. We got Starbucks. Ugh. I only drink coffee shops now. Ugh. Something I need to do this weekend is I need to go to Best Buy because, let me show you. You guys know I've always used the G7X to film my videos. And then for my birthday, Sam bought me the M50 because she's an amazing friend. Now, I got this hunk of whatever the fuck it is. It is so complicated to use. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. It has a microphone, this crazy lens. I know a lot of like serious vloggers use this and... <laughs> Guess I'm a serious vlogger now. I don't have a charger for the battery, so I need to go to Best Buy to get a charger for that. Something else I need to do is, oh, this is gonna sound so gay. I need to go get a pedicure. They give me foot massages and I like it. Something else fun, I'm going to Texas. Zach, when are we going to Texas? He didn't answer me. Uh, we're going the 28th and we're driving there because we're bringing Levi. We're gonna be staying with my best friend in her beautiful house. So there's gonna be a lot of content there. I need to go to the mall. That'll be fun. Maybe I'll bring you guys. What are you doing, Levi? <gasps> Did you have a good birthday? If you guys haven't tried Green Chef yet, what are you doing? It's a USDA certified organic company and like there's no excuse for you guys not doing it because they have meals for like vegans, keto, paleo, vegetarian. Like there's really no excuse for you not doing it. And they're giving you such a good deal. So really quick, thank you so much to Green Chef for sponsoring this video. All of the ingredients come pre-measured, perfectly portioned and mostly prepped. It makes cooking for people like me easy, okay? If you're like me, have no fear. Green Chef is here. And obviously you guys know the best part is that everything is handpicked and delivered straight to your door. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but over this whole pandemic, I started to hate going to the supermarket. Today we are making Takarashi pork and rice bowls. And I think the other great thing about Green Chef is it makes you say words that Chef Ramsay would really approve of. On a really serious note though, you guys really should just give Green Chef a try. I know you guys will love it. I've worked with them multiple times already and it's definitely something Zach and I use all the time. So try it. Just give it a try. So right now, this is what all the ingredients look like. And in 30 minutes, where these are gonna look like a nice tagarashi pork bowl. It's tagarashi. It's tagarashi, baby. Mom! Moment of truth. Mm. Mm -hmm. You like it? You guys go to the link in my description and use my code to get $90 off and free shipping on your first box. For real guys, just give it a try. It's so good. Thank you so much to Green Chef for sponsoring this video. What do you say? Subscribe and click on the link. No, button. say thank you. Oh, that. what am I saying thank you for? You say thank you to me. To Green Chef. Oh, thank you, Green Chef. All right, it's the next day, and I think it's very important to admit that I did not choose fashion today. We are picking Mama TMI up right now um, to go get coffee. As always, we're pissed at each other because I'm late. I just said I'm about to be there, and she said bullshit. Now we just wait for Mama TMI to go get some coffee. In the meantime, I don't know if I've ever showed you guys, I'm sure a lot of you guys have noticed how disgusting my nails are. I, one of my anxiety things is that I bite my nails constantly. And I don't know if I've ever showed them to you guys, but you guys, like that's kind of mortifying. That's really gross. Nobody's gonna want that in their butthole. You wanna bite? What is that? Oh my God, it's so delicious. 
No, I'm good. No, really, try it. No, I don't want that. Please, if you love no, me. I love you very much. I don't want You're that. You're gonna love these as a snack if you take a bite. Just one bite? No, I don't want it, Mom. It's hot today, huh? It's so hot. I was wow. just saying that. Look, they have a bouncy house. Oh my god. Let's go. Honestly, asked for a bouncy house for years and years, Mom. Listen. You never got me one. That's okay. sad. You know what's sad? That you don't appreciate anything. <laughs> yes, I do. No, you don't. Who has a. What did you have? You had so many parties that you were going to, and I decided to have a 16 birthday party for you. A bash. In the backyard. Right? Yeah. How fun was that? That was fun. Okay, I got a Dunkin' Bull. I got a taco stand. I got a hot dog stand. I had a swimming pool. I had a, a slide thingy. Oh, I got friends in low places where the wind is low. In the oasis. <laughs> oh, I got friends in low places where the whiskey is warm. Right. Wait, can you scratch my back? Like, right, it's sweaty. But... Yeah, there, there. You always go to the exact spot. If any of you wonder why I'm so messed up in the head, <laughs> that's who I got it from. Mom, you call me and you go, <laughs> you go, you go, I'm very depressed. <laughs> and I say, why? And you go, I'm so fat. <laughs> and I go, me too. All right, we're getting coffee, BRB. Alrighty, we just dropped Mama TMI off. And why did I say it like that? And now we are heading to the mall. I have a lot of clothes, but they're also recognizable. And every time I wear them in a video, I feel like I just wore whatever I'm wearing like two videos ago, and it stresses me out. This is stuff that like normal people won't have to deal with, but I guess as an influencer, it's stuff I have to deal with. So <sighs> we're gonna go to the mall, AKA I'm gonna be in a bad mood because I know nothing's gonna fit me. At least in my head. I'll let you guys know if I have any sweet finds at the mall. Okay, update. It's a few hours later. I know you guys just saw me eat. Uh, if you guys have followed me for a little bit now, you know that I make those iconic tortilla air fryer pizzas, which you'll see in a minute. But let me just tell you what happened. The first video I made with the iconic tortilla air fryer pizzas was, I think, back in July. Well, if you guys are going to do that, I'm going to say be fucking careful because I just almost burnt down my apartment. I made one with my air fryer for the first time ever and the tortilla got sucked up into the air fryer and was burning and there was so much smoke. I had to grab this towel and I was like standing in front of the fucking, ow. You guys, it looks so good. I would not steer you in the wrong direction when it comes to food, okay? Like, look at me. Tortilla pizzas are the way to go. They're like 200 calories or less, really fucking big and they're, they get really crispy in the air fryer. Which one should I use? Oh, that crunch and crisp. You guys, look. So good. I put garlic powder, oregano, cayenne pepper, and the red pepper flakes, and obviously salt and pepper. The tortilla is like, I think 60 calories. I only put a little cheese on. I put turkey pepperoni. And the sauce is Victoria's, which is like a really healthy jarred sauce. <sighs> that was my tortilla pizza update. You guys want to say hi to Levi? He's really scared. He doesn't like the sound of the fish. <laughs> He's so cute. Hi, baby. Levi hates the sound of the air fryer. He hates the sound of the air conditioner, the sound of the microwave fan. I think he just really hates like white noise, to be honest, which is so strange because ever since we got him, Zach and I sleep with a white noise machine on. Update. <laughs> While I was gone, Zach hung up the mirror and I don't know. I kind of feel like it's a little too high. I, I, I actually really feel like it's a little too high for my liking, but the only problem is Zach is way too tall so he couldn't put it lower because then he wasn't able to see in it so i don't know what do you guys think do you think it looks stupid i just feel like the mirror is kind of just floating in the middle of nowhere because it's so high there's that update update on the mall situation there was fucking nothing there i was trying to get another pair of denim shorts which are denim shorts not in anymore i cannot find denim shorts anywhere am i chewy but guys look look how cute tech is while i was gone he baked from scratch oatmeal raisin cookies Oh my god, look how soft. I did find one pair of denim shorts from Guess, which sometimes I get my jeans from Guess. Like I've always said, I have a really weird like body type for a guy. I have really big hips, a really big chest. So it's always hard for me to find jeans, and I feel that Guess always fits me well. So they had shorts, but the shorts were fucking $100. How the fuck is it the same price for something that is literally half the material? It doesn't make sense. So I was like, fuck you, I'll go to like... 
I'll take my business elsewhere. Did I take my business elsewhere? No, because nowhere else had them, but I know this video was a lot of talking, but I gotta tell you, it's just gonna be more talking because I just posted three videos in Florida. I'm posting this video, and then I'm probably posting a uh, asking my mom uncomfortable questions video, which is like your guys' favorite, and then I'm gonna be in Texas for a few videos. Then I'm gonna come back, and then I'm gonna be in Key West. So it's gonna be a crazy time on my channel in these upcoming weeks. I have been kind of like lying to you guys. Okay, I guess not lying, but I've been like hiding something. <laughs> and also this is very embarrassing to make, but I did the Peloton video. What, what was that in like March? I don't even know, March, April. And that was about it. <laughs> That's about all I did. I did not continue with the Peloton. I'm sure as you guys know, YouTube really picked up for me this year. I never really knew, but it really is like a full-time job. I also work my other job, which is editing YouTube videos that takes Literal hours. Kaylee, tell them how long it takes. Tell them. Long time. I have not had any time, but I don't want to use that as an excuse because if I really wanted to do the Peloton, I would have done it. But like I said, the past few years, the past like two years, maybe I was in such like a weird place. I let everything go. My weight, YouTube, I wasn't posting. I wasn't actively trying to get on like a career path. And then I got depressed and I just stopped caring about like bills. It like got really bad. Now I'm at a place where I'm very financially stable as of right now. Obviously I know YouTube can stop tomorrow. Like I'm not like I'm this rich YouTuber because by no means I'm not. And anything I make from YouTube actually goes straight into a savings account that I can't touch. I have been working nonstop and I just haven't found that balance yet. But that's enough of the excuses. It was my fault. I should have been doing the Peloton. And I was getting a lot of comments of people saying like, oh my God, like I could tell it's working. You look so good. And I felt uncomfy because I wasn't actually doing it. A lot of people in my life have asked me like, oh, how's the Peloton going? And I'm like, I definitely feel like mentally I'm getting more to a place where I will start doing it every day. And don't get me wrong, I, I did it here and there, but like I, it wasn't something I was able to do every day. I just want to let you guys know the update on that. And I didn't want people to like heavily start asking. I'm also not the same person where I'm letting like my weight like ruin my life. Like I'm not letting it hold me back anymore. If this was like a year or two ago, I would have not been posting YouTube videos. I would have been off the internet. And we're getting there, okay? We're gonna get there mentally. This was a video that was just like hanging out with me, I guess. Follow me on Instagram. I'm always posting on my story. Follow me on TikTok. Everything's gonna be in the description down below. Toodles, bitches.